Aloha, what is up everyone? Okay, today we're gonna to get the uh, tires mounted and balanced, yeah, mounted and balanced on the new Alcoa wheels from Pugly. Let me show you. They are on the truck and we're going to, right there, we're going to the tire shop right now. So hopefully, hopefully it won't take too long. They said about an hour for everything, but maybe a little bit less. Um, so it'll be a quick video today. Like, comment, subscribe, and we can keep the videos going. And then let me know what you guys think. Okay. Okay, guys, we are back from the tire shop. And as you can see, we got the, uh, the new tires mounted on the Alcoa wheels. These are a stud pilot wheel for the older trucks. Um, so there's, there's only certain sizes that you can get uh, for those because it's kind of the older, older style. I guess everything's now is more or less hub pilot. So anyways, um, these are listed, I believe they're listed at 12 and a quarter inch wide. Sometimes you see them as 12 and a half, but I believe they're 12 and a quarter by 22 and a half. And here's what we got mounted. We went with the 385, 65, 22, 5. And these are, I'll just show you what we're working with right now here. I'll, I'll show you the exact, so you can see what we're working with. It's a 10, let's see, there it is. 10 R20. And it's, they're just a tiny bit shorter. The, the 10 R, the, you can see here it's about an inch. So if you're gonna upgrade, I don't know if it's gonna matter to you guys, but maybe inch and, a, inch and a half. And obviously they're a lot wider. I'm gonna pull, once I pull it off, you can see that, there's the factory, or what's on there, and then here's the 385. This one I believe is, 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 is more or less equivalent to about a 295. So we're going from like a 295 on that side to 385, so it looks quite a bit beefier. And, and these take a lot, of, a lot more weight, not that it matters, but I uh, think these are rated at 10,000 each, somewhere in that range. Um, single load, yeah, single load 90, what does that say, 90, 9920 per, per tire. So they're way more heavy duty, not that I matter, I'm not gonna haul heavy weight, but I just wanted that wider look. So let me start clearing up, uh, I, gotta, I took off some of the trim already, it was hanging down, I thought it might, um, I thought it might contact, so I'm gonna take it off, I gotta unbolt these. I'm almost done with that. Just get a little more room to churn and all that. So I'll get them thrown on, and then maybe I'll do a comparison between once once that's off, I'll compare them when they're when they're all both out, so you guys can see the 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 width difference. In case you guys want to do the same swap, maybe maybe you don't have one of these Fords, but you have the older truck and you want to go with the wider wheels, so you can see what it looks like. Okay. Okay, guys, I got the factory size tire, I guess size tire, on the right and the. Th the new tire on the left. They're a little bit tipped. This one's leaning on the, this one's leaning on this one. But anyway, you can see the difference. So this would be about a 295. Here's a and then here's the 385. And there's a tiny bit difference in height too. I don't know if I can stand these up. I thought I'm falling over. But you can see it's about a good inch, inch and a half difference in height. So if you're gonna upgrade, just just know that. Hopefully you got the clearance for that. I'll show you this side. Same thing. So that's the difference in the tires. Okay, everyone, here we are, finished on the front. The 385s are mounted. It looks amazing. It is beefy. It's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, I'll show you both sides. 385, 65.25. Now we're going to do the back. I want to get the front. I wanted to get the front mounted and get my bumper ordered because I'm gonna get get rid of this thing. And it barely cleared. This is this is this was the side was fine, but we found out this side was actually you can see it right here. It was it was bent at some point in its life. This was bent back, so it was about it was, it was almost touching the tire. So we just grabbed the fork and bent it forward where it's, it's about it's about factory. Now I just made full lock to lock and nothing touches. I checked all the inside, nothing touches. So if you're looking on upgrading one of these Fords. Um, to the two, I'm sorry, the 385. That's what it looks like. It's beefy. I like it. It's like a tougher look. The other, the other tires were really skinny. I wasn't really into that stuff, into that look. But these look just, these look just about right. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Um, we can keep the videos going. We can keep these logs going if if we get enough subscribers. We're gonna start doing after we get the front bumper. We're probably gonna do the front bumper. I'm going to do a drop-down visor up top, stainless steel visor, and then the back Alcoas and all that. The back's going to be pretty straightforward because it's just going kind of the same size. The front is what I was worried about because this is a big upgrade, and I'm just glad everything worked out. I just, just took it out. It's, it, everything worked. All the steering is good. It does stick out a little bit, which I'm fine with, 
You can see it, it's sticking out about two inches, two to three inches, which is fine. I can get a little fender flare or something if, if I really need to, but for me, it looks, it looks good. All right, guys, see you guys in the next one.